Hey Micro users, my name is Sam, and today we're going to go over how to use the McCorma Micro Configurator to customize and edit check stubs. McCorma provides an extensive library of default formats to choose from, and they can all be formatted according to your needs. But first, we want to remind you that before making edits or changes to a production format, it may be a good idea to save a copy in case you want to revert later. In this video, we'll cover the following uses of the configurator. First, adding and editing fields and regions to check stubs. Second, resizing and aligning fields and regions. Third, adding a logo to a check stub. Fourth, adjusting the micro line. And fifth, additional editing procedures such as changing the font of text. Before covering these topics though, we'll first go through how to access the configurator. To access the configurator, first open the checkbook setup window. Then select a checkbook and a check format that you want to make changes to. Now click on the link that says primary check format. This will open the configurator. Now that we're in the configurator, we'll start with looking at how to work with the fields and regions of your stub. A stub region can be added to the stub file by first clicking on the add elements button in the home tab, and then the add stub region button. As you can see, a blank stub region has now been added to the check stub. You can adjust the position of a region by clicking and dragging it, or by selecting it and positioning it manually in the properties panel. To add fields to that region, click on add elements again, and this time, select the type of field that you want to add. In this example, we will choose date. Click add element. The new field has now been added, but its default location is off the stub itself. To move the field to its desired location, you can either click and drag the field, or you can select the field and adjust its position manually in the Properties panel, just as we did with the region. To resize the added field, you can click and drag the borders as such, or adjust the size in the Properties panel. Let's say I want to add another field to this same region, and I want to place it beneath the date field. I also want the new field to be the exact same width as the date field as well as being perfectly aligned to it. To do this, I'll first drag the amount field to roughly the place where I want it to end up. I'll then select the date field first and the new field second before clicking the button entitled Same Width in the Layout tab. As you can see, the amount field has automatically been widened to the exact width of the other field. You can use this same function for height as well as overall size in addition to width. The fields are still not aligned correctly though. To address that, select the fields again in the same order as before and choose Align at Center in the Layout tab. As you can see, the fields are now perfectly aligned. You can align any field to any border of another field, in addition to the vertical and horizontal center or middle. You can also resize and align entire regions through these same processes. If you want to add a logo to your check stub, click the Add Elements button. Then, select Add Picture. Locate the picture you'd like to add and click Open. As you can see, the new picture has been added to the check stub, but it's much too large. Conveniently, you can resize images within the configurator after they've been imported by clicking and dragging the borders, or in the Properties panel. Once the new logo is sized up correctly, simply drag it into place. You can import JPEG, PNG, GIF, or BMP files this way. Now, we'll examine adjusting the micro line. The micro line will start automatically positioned based on the location of the region it's in, so realigning may not be necessary. But, if you find that the micro line isn't aligned correctly, you have two options. You can either adjust the position of the whole region, or you can adjust the placement of just the micro line itself. To adjust the placement of the micro line, first select the check region that it's located in. Then, you can adjust the parameters of the micro line horizontally or vertically in the Properties panel on the left-hand side of the window. As you can see, the values of this micro line begin at 1.9 horizontally and 0.2 vertically. And when I adjust the value of either field, the placement of the micro line changes accordingly. Through this method, you can adjust the placement of only the micro line until it lines up with your desired positioning, possibly determined by your micro gauge. If you don't have a micro gauge and you would like one, please feel free to contact McCorma and we'll send you one free of cost. You can also select to hide or display the micro line by unchecking or checking the micro line box. 
If you'd like to change the font of a field, simply select that field and click on the current font displayed in the Properties panel. Then, choose the font that you'd like to change the text in the field to and click OK. If you'd like to copy a field, simply right-click on it and select Copy. And then, right-click again on the desired location of the field and choose Paste. You can also copy and paste entire regions through the same method. Similarly, to delete fields or regions, simply click on them and select Delete. And that's how you use the McCorma Maker Configurator to customize and edit check stubs. If you need more information on any of the processes mentioned in this video, please view the page linked in the description of this video for additional resources. We hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.